Hi everyone, it's Miss Akari in the library. For today's advisory, I wanted to share with you some books we have in our library that have been made into movies or uh, TV shows, and also some books that would be kind of similar. So if you're someone who loves to go to movies or loves to watch some streaming shows like I do, this might give you some good reading ideas. So I was thinking a little bit about some books that have are movies and shows that have come out recently in the last year or two or are just about ready to come out. And so Willy Wonka is uh, coming out soon. Five Nights at Freddy's has been out for a little bit. The Summer I Turn Pretty is a show that I know a lot of you have had a chance to watch over the summer. The newest uh, movie in the Hunger Games series just opened last week. And then this show's a little bit older, um, but I wanted to mention it because um, the books that inspired it are really great. Um, and that's One of Us is Lying. And so for each um, show, I'll kind of show you the book behind it and then also share some read-alikes as well. So we have the third um, version of the Willy Wonka movie coming out. And you maybe know that it is based on the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. Um, but these books are um, kind of have that competition element and almost a little bit of action and adventure, but also have some magic to it as well. So books from our fantasy section or even from our sports and adventure section would be a good fit. And then three read-alike titles for that that we have in our library as well um, are The Candy Makers by Wendy Moss, uh, the Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library, which we have the original book, there are two sequels to the book, and there's a graphic novel that will be in our library soon, and the book Tangle of Knots. So if you like the kind of fantastical aspect of Willy Wonka, if you like the competition aspect between the different kids who are getting the golden ticket and hope to own the factory someday, any of these other books, The Candy Makers, Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library, or Tangle of Knots would be a great book for you to read as well. The show One of Us is Lying is based off a mystery book by Karen McManus. So if you like mysteries, especially if you like mysteries with a little bit of drama, Karen McManus is a great author to read. And we have a bunch of her books in our library. One of Us is Lying also has a few sequels at this point as well. So it's a series that you can get started with. Um, so choosing any book from our mystery section would be a great read alike to One of Us is Lying. Um, these titles, The Cousins, The Inheritance Games, and Two Truths and a Lie are the ones in my mind that are kind of closest to the book um, One of Us is Lying. So if you've had a chance to watch the show or if you've read One of Us is Lying, some of these other books on this slide would be a great choice for you. Um, I know we had a lot of requests for the summer turn. I turned pretty when we came back to school this fall. And Jenny Han, the author of The Summer I Turned Pretty, also has another series to all the boys I've loved before. And if you've watched that show or if you've read any of her books, you know that romance is definitely the theme and genre there. And there is a little bit of school drama as well. So I've included another romance series that I think is amazing called The Selection. And then a book that has some romance, but also a lot of family drama in it. Um, and is also set over the summer, uh, We Were Liars. The Hunger Games is a series that a lot of us have probably read or watched. And the author, it had been a lot of years, but the author went back and actually gave us a prequel to the original Hunger Games series. And it's called The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Like I mentioned before, the movie just opened last week. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I have read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And what I really like about it is because it's set back in time from the original book, The Hunger Games, I got to read a lot of the backstory of how the Hunger Games were set up and what the main character, um, who is kind of a normal person at the beginning of the book, turns into a character that we all know, President Snow, and I really liked that. Um, Hunger Games series and Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes are in our dystopian section. And so I included some books that are very similar to that. So the Divergent series is a great series of books to read. It's also a movie series as well. The testing is very similar to the Hunger Games where um, people are very much in competition for education and resources and just general safety. And then a book that's from our fantasy section but deals with a lot of the same themes and struggles as Hunger Games is called The Red Queen. And all of these books 
Um, our Rita Likes the Hunger Games, they're also all series books. So if you like a book that is a series, this would be a good choice. And then last but not least, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I know we had a lot of people asking for these books um, just in general, but when the movie came out, that really kind of jumped. We have uh, Five Nights at Freddy's chapter books. We also have graphic novels. Um, and those books, the chapter book versions are in our supernatural or scary book section. Mm -hmm. So some read alikes for those are Goosebumps, um, One Day at Horrorland, especially because they're kind of trapped in that amusement park, just like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, you're trapped in this old arcade kind of situation. Um, another book that's kind of like that is this book called Dead Flip by Sarah, Sarah Farazan. Um, and in this one, one of the main characters goes missing and he comes back after several years um, after being trapped in a pinball game. And so that's a really interesting book. Um, and then the last book that's kind of a read alike for that is Killer Pizza. And I'm not going to tell you too much about that. That book's been in our library for a while. But if that sounds interesting to you, I'd encourage you to check it out. Um, so again, reading books that movies and shows are based on or reading the book and then watching a movie is always a really fun thing to do. For more great books related to shows and movies, you can always search our library catalog or we'll have these books set out on the um, counter right by the library. So you see a bunch of suggestions um, for some themes and stories that you might already kind of know. So I uh, hope you all have uh, fun using and reading books based on shows and movies.